Hey there, Sam Visnick here from Release Muscle Therapy, and today in this video what I'm going to do is to show you how you can sit more comfortably when you're dealing with sacroiliac joint issues. So in this video I'm going to walk you through exactly how to position yourself and to self-mobilize so you can be more comfortable, you can sit longer without having to deal with nagging SI joint pain. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, in this exercise, I'm going to show you how to do a hip shifting maneuver with a ball between your knees. This is distinctly different from laying on your back doing a hip shift when your hips and knees are at 90 degrees or laying on your side or laying on your hook lying position. The reason why is because the hips are in different angles and also as we get upright, we have our anti-gravitational muscles activated, which changes the recruitment of the muscles in this pattern. So we need to teach our nervous system how to do these movements in different positions for full integration. So in the seated position, and this is something that's great to do throughout the day, by the way, you're going to find a chair that approximately hips are level with the knees, if not slightly higher because that will allow good, efficient hip shifting. You don't want to pick something where the knees are too high for the hips. You're going to get jammed up. You're going to be rocking yourself back. It's going to be hard to move. If you like, you can also use a Swiss ball as an option. But in this demo, I'm just going to use a chair. You're going to grab a ball or a yoga block, which is less preferable because when you do a hip shift, it's hard to move with a block because the block doesn't move very well. You could also use a foam roll. If you put a foam roll on the floor, it's something that we can rotate around. It's a good implement to use. Okay, so we're going to take that ball. I'm going to place it right between my knees. My feet are going to be flat down on the ground. I don't want them tucked underneath me too far. That's going to inhibit normal movement. So we want approximately 90 degrees. So I place the ball there. Remember when the ball is there, it's just there to wake up or to activate the groin muscles. It's not there to over squeeze. Over squeezing is going to cause compensation. That's not what we want. It's just there for a spacer. So as I sit nice and tall, here's what we're going to do first. We don't want to do this motion with our back super arched. That's where the pelvis is actually rolling forward into an anterior pelvic tilt. We actually want to do the opposite. Very easy to do. You feel the bones that you're sitting on. Those are the sit bones. I want you to just let them rock back. So get your weight to roll back over those sit bones just a little bit. And that way our back is slightly flexed, just enough to be able to perform the drill. What to do with your hands? Easiest thing to do with them is to place your hands on top of the sides of the chair. Okay? So with my feet flat on the ground, now I can start to do my hip shifting movement. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to just grab onto that ball, keeping the feet flat. I'm going to draw my knee and my hip back on my left side while simultaneously poking forward my right knee and my right hip. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to shift me just like that. Now, there are a couple of key features here that are important. As I shift forward like that, I should feel my weight shift to my left sit bone. So I should feel like I'm sitting on my left butt cheek more than my right. If you feel your weight going to the right, you need to consciously shift it over to the left. Because technically what's happening is we're now standing on your left leg. So our weight should be appropriately over the left on the upper body. So as I do that shift, I pull my left hip back and my left knee. Right hip and right knee is going forward. My feet stay flat on the ground. In this position, you're going to notice that my torso tends to want to go to the left. That's okay, but I want you to do is overcorrect yourself. So just bring everything straight in line, facing straight ahead. So now I've got a hip and a knee going back on the left, and I've got my torso squared up, and now we're in the right position. We're going to hold that for the desired amount of time, and then we're going to shift to the other side. Now before we just flip-flop to the other side, let's go back to the neutral position. That way we can line everything up. So you can use your hands to help keep your torso going straight ahead. I'm going to pull my, my right knee and my right hip back. That's going to cause my weight to shift on top of my right sit bone. Okay, My left knee and my left hip is going forward. My torso aligned going straight ahead. I hold for the designated amount of time and then rock back to the center position, again repeating on the other side. So we're going to alternate side to side for the designated amount of repetitions that your program dictates. Thank <laughs> you. 